Mark Cerny makes an appearance and talks all things regarding off the PlayStation 5 Pro and it marks a major step forward in gaming and console technology. It was created to solve challenges and seize opportunities, like improving graphics rendering, ray tracing and machine learning. These upgrades aim to shape the future of gaming and getting here involved innovation, teamwork and determination. One big improvement is balancing processing power and bandwidth. For example, when a console processes data, it reads one piece of information and outputs two. Depending on how many calculations it performs, ideally the system would perform thousands of operations in a single piece of data, maximizing its 300 trillion operations per second. Potential. But it does fewer operations, it wastes bandwidth and its machine learning capabilities. Now, take on a convolutional neural network as an example. Imagine processing an image where every pixel uses 16 bytes of data. For high-resolution images, this can mean reading and writing hundreds of megabytes of memory. If the system isn't efficient, it wastes more of its potential using 3% of its 300 tops. This inefficiency can take up a quite a valuable time, nearly half of what's allowed to for processing the whole network. A solution to this is a layered fusion. By processing multiple layers of the network together and storing temporary results in fast, built-in memory, the console reduces the need to access slower memory. For an instance, fusing two layers might double efficiency, though it's still far from perfect. The ultimate goal is to processing everything on chip, where the system handles all the data internally and only writes the final results back to memory, fully utilizing the 300 tops. However, this goal has two main challenges. First, the memory demand. A 4K image can require 128 megabytes of fast memory. The system can process smaller chunks of the image to reduce memory use, but this can lead to issues like edge artifacts. Second, there's a need for super-fast memory bandwidth. On-chip memory needs to handle terabytes of data per second to keep up. Increasing the GPU's cache memory helps, but it isn't enough. To tackle these issues, PlayStation engineers spent four years designing custom solutions based on the AMD's DNA architecture. One breakthrough was using the vector registers in processors as ultra-fast on-chip RAM. Each processor registers 128 KB of memory with over terabytes per second bandwidth. Across 30 processors, this setup delivers 15 megabytes of memory at 200 terabytes per second, much faster than system memory. New instructions were added to optimize this memory and processes CNN's math, mostly using 8-bit precision for efficiency. Now, this setup explains the 300 tops figure Special instructions allow the GPU to perform many operations in a single cycle. At a clock speed of 2.17 GHz, the math adds up to the advertised 300 tops. The focus remains on 8-bit operations, as higher precision isn't usually necessary for CNNs and would increase costs. PlayStation also developed a custom AI-based upscaling technology called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, as you know it, PSSR. Like FSR and DLSS, PSSR enhances images quality by using data like pixel color and motion vector. But PSSR is tailored for consoles, where frame rates are fixed and resolution changes. It's designed to handle constantly changing upscaling ratios, which was a big focus during its creation. PSSR uses a recurring UNET design, reusing data from previous frames to improve upscaling. The developers tested it extensively, fixing issues like unusual colors or specific challenges in certain games. For an example, one game's unique shades of blue for the sky required adjustments to the network's training. Now, building PSSR has been rewarding. It allows the PlayStation 5 Pro to deliver great image quality, even at the lower resolutions. By improving upscaling efficiency, PSSR can double the efficiency, effective GPU power, enabling better graphics and enhancing ray tracing. Still, the PlayStation 5 Pro's AI system isn't perfect. Sometimes it relies on slower memory for temporary data, creating bottlenecks. Future hardware updates aim to fix this by achieving full-fused networks, where all processing happens on-chip. 
improved CNN designs also promises better graphics and efficiency. The PS5 Pro is part of the bigger collaboration between the PlayStation and AMD called Amethyst. This partnership combines PlayStation's custom hardware with AMD's expertise to create an ideal architecture for machine learning. The goal is to make AI tools more accessible to game developers, allowing them to use AI for both graphics and gameplay. This could lead to richer visuals, advanced ray tracing and innovative ways to integrate AI into games. Looking back, the PlayStation 5's Pro's development shows how combining hardware and software innovation can transform gaming. From tackling bandwidth challenges to pioneering AI-based solutions, it sets a stage for a new era in gaming. Future projects will build on these lessons, with collaborations like Amethysis pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In conclusion, the PlayStation 5 Pro represents a bold vision for the gaming's future. It uses advanced technology to improve performance, graphics, and interactivity. By solving tough problems and working closely with partners, PlayStation has paved the way for exciting new gaming experiences. With its potential just starting to explore, the future looks bright for the gamers and the developers alike. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, see you guys all and have a wonderful day.